I've been cooking. And I, I feel like, oh listen, I already showed this to cameraman. He doesn't believe that I'm cooking, but I think I'm cooking. Let me know in the comment section guys what you guys think when you guys see this. But the deck that I'm talking about today is Scareclaw. But uh, it has a really cool engine in it that I haven't seen people play. And it doesn't make sense to me why people don't play it because I think it's a very powerful engine. I'm actually gonna show you guys a combo at the end of this video as well to show you guys how it works. Scareclaw guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys wanna see more deck profiles. I wanna get right into it though because I'm actually very excited for this one. So let's get started. We're playing three right card. The most important card in the deck. Right card is obviously a very, very powerful card, right? So three right card. We're playing two of the acro, two balone, and two of the astra. I'm only playing two, two, and two. Your combo gets to these cards, which is not really hard to get into. If you draw them, it's not bad. It's just kind of extenders. And I'll show you a combo where you don't need them. And then I'll show you a combo where if you open one of them, what you can do. So two different combos that I'll show you guys. It's essentially the same combo, just the extension of one makes a big difference. This is it for the monsters. You really want to make space for non-engine in this deck and uh, the other engine that I'm going to show you. Uh, and the nice thing about this deck is it goes, it's really good going first and second, specifically because you can play this. And like Fenrir, while it's not a Scareclaw card, it might as well be. I mean, we also have Scareclaw Cash. So this can search this, which is really good. It's just a really nice, it's just really nice pairing these two together because having this on field with this on field means that it, it stops the activated effects of monsters and then Fenrir, of course, is going to banish cards. This card's good going first, putting up a disruption. Going second is really good as well. So just in general, I really like this package. You could argue for two Scareclaw Cash. I decided not to because I think it, uh, it, it that's more like a grind game thing. Like if you're going to turns like 10, but I mean, that's not happening in this deck. You, you can OTK so easily in this deck, which is really nice. So I really like uh, just the one Scareclaw. I like this package a lot because this also gets you to this. So you don't have to search yourself other means. Like this is always going to get you to this, which is nice. And then we're playing the one Visa Star Frost. It's kind of mandatory to play one. But the card that I don't see anyone playing is three Visa Samsara, bro. I feel like Triff Gaming right now, man. This card is insane. And this is not Manadium, bro. This card is a one card combo on its own. It's actually just absolutely insane how, how this card bridges you into the Fiendsmith engine. Yes, I said it. It's a Fiendsmith engine. Okay, listen. Before you guys leave the video here, there is an adventure build of this deck that plays very similarly. I'm going to be showing you guys that in another video, okay? If you have access to the Fiendsmith engine, I think that engine is just way better. It loses to Fulos. Everything loses to a full all those, let's be honest with each other. I really like this engine. I want to show you guys how powerful this engine is. But again, there's an adventure build. I'll show you guys that build later as well. So, three Samsara, absolutely insane. And then, of course, we're playing the two Rake Phobia here. You're only playing two because you can search it off your Lightheart. Two Arrival, I really like two. It's like a Monster Reborn. If you draw into this, it's nice. The reason I like playing two, so you can play one, but I like playing two because if I draw into this, then in the combo, I can search one of these two. So, Slash or Twin Saw. These cards are really insane as well. Typically, in the one card combo, you're going to be searching Arrival. But again, if you have the Arrival, then you search the which is really nice so that's why i like playing two because drawing it is not too bad so that's it for the scare claw package or the, the engine perfect ratios in my opinion for this deck and more pure scare claw you'd be playing more of these guys but in this build i think this is the perfect engine or the perfect ratios because we are going to get into the next engine which is absolutely insane and that is the fiendsmith engine it's very standard like three engraver one tract one lurie and then one lacrima there's no reason to not play this engine I think this engine is absolutely insane. It's it's one of the best engines in the format right now. And the fact that you get access to this engine with your main engine, which is a Scareclaw stuff, and it's a one card starter, it's insane. Like if you don't see this engine, you can get to this engine. And then if you do see this engine, it's also just really powerful on its own, right? So either way, you're getting to full combo with just these cards as well. And it's not too big of an engine to play where you're really sacrificing a bunch of non-engines. So I really, really like this because the ceiling's insane. And then to round it off, we're playing three Drone Lock, three Ash, three Imperm. I think these are the best hand traps in the format. I mean, obviously, other than Fualos. I'm going to be honest, guys. If I had Fualos, I'd play Fualos. You can't play Impulse because you're playing a bunch of Earth Monsters here. But um, I don't have Fualos. If you guys have Fualos, maybe cut the draw, play Fualos instead. Again, unfortunately, I don't have those cards. So I just want to give you guys that option as well because that definitely is a really good card in today's format. I just unfortunately don't have them. And then lastly, guys, to round off the main deck, one called by the Grave and then one Azorne. Your combo also, your one card combo ends on this as well. So that's what I'm saying. It increases the ceiling of this deck so high because you're putting up multiple disruptions with just one card. So I really, really like this card. Um, it's good in today's format as well. And just in general, I think this engine is, is, is very, very powerful. So it'll all make sense when you guys see the, the combo video. I promise you guys it'll all make sense. Um, and I'll show you guys how the kind of decks synergize and they work well together. But for the extra deck here, what did you call that? Az Azurne? Azurun? Is that Azurun? Azurne? Az it's a statue, okay? You're just playing statue. Now, 
for the extra deck though we are playing uh the two light heart you're only playing two and more pure builds you can get away with three but in this build i think two is enough and we're playing two of the sky claw try heart try heart is really good as well this is kind of like one of your win cons you can kind of make this the towers and then it uh it's really good against non-link decks because it kind of puts everything in defense position but against link decks you have another card that i'll talk about later that's really good with this but i really like try heart helps you otk one vicious astroloud one cross sheep this is kind of an extender you lost access to like appaloosa unfortunately like appaloosa was really good but uh still this extension combo is still really good because it helps you link climate something like this so i really like these and then of course you're playing the fiendsmith package so one moon one requiem one sequence and one desiree very small package over here that you're playing and then uh we're playing one silhouette rabbit uh you can end on this for the angel statue as a rune as a rune okay whatever statue this is really good one ip one sp comes up here and there one access code and then one underworld goddess underworld goddess of course is really good moon there's moon being able to make this randomly is really powerful but in general this is a really good card so 15 cards here the only thing i would say if you're playing the the the, the adventure package that i'm going to talk about in another video not today's video is that you just cut these four cards and you play other cards but the rest of these i, I wouldn't say are changeable because these cards are really good in today's format so yeah that's it for the extra deck 15 cards and then i'm going to show you guys in the side deck one of the saucier texts it's three blink out this card is absolutely insane so i'm going to read this card to you it says target a link monster on the field return it to the extra deck and then you can special summon one of the monsters from your graveyard that was sent there as a material why is this good okay so multiple reasons one if you're playing against a link base deck and you're setting up your uh, try heart try heart can't obviously put link monsters in defense position so if you're going first you can side these in against link base decks set it and then on your opponent's turn everything's gonna go in defense as soon as they summon a link monster you can just blink it out and then obviously you're not going to summon anything because it's not your monster that's getting blinked out but it's just kind of like a bounce so it's like a compulse for link monsters which is good but the reason this is also really good is because if you go into your not moon but if you go into your light heart over here and you go let's say summon light heart activate effect and your opponent has like imperm or valor for it right because you really need your field spell as part of your combo so if they have imperm or or valor what you can do is you can blink out the light heart so like let's say you summon any monster you make it into a light heart right and then you go like okay activate effect and they go imperm or, or valor you go chain blink out bounce this out summon back this and then now this is still going to resolve so because it's still going to resolve you're still going to get to your field spell and then you can continue the combo from there so it does multiple things for you it kind of helps you protect your boards but it also helps you break boards as well and it's a good setup going first so three blink out absolutely insane card in today's format and then i'm playing board breakers because going second in this deck kind of is rough and you can side out a bunch of the traps and, and whatnot going second so you side them out and then you start playing a bunch of board breakers so two thrust one talent two geki one harpies two lightning storm going second i always side all of these cards in literally against every matchup you pretty much side all of these cards in it's, it's insane and then you're usually siding out like just to make it easy for you guys you're usually siding out like stuff like this like one two siding out these cards over here because you're not really using them sometimes you'll side out a second arrival so it's really actually easy to side in this deck which is nice these cards are really good and then for going first we're playing three d barrier and one different dimension ground these are all thrustable as well so when you're going first you just side and thrust with these ones and that's really good as well this card is just insane obviously because you're setting it up on your turn of course Course. so when your opponent's turn comes you flip this you don't care at that point like your monsters in the graveyard already or you already have set up so it doesn't matter this card's insane in this format so i really like this side deck i think it's really good blink out this i'm telling you guys blink out is a saucy card and it works super well in this deck specifically this deck i think it's really really good because your try heart is going to stop your monster like your opponent's main monsters or your regular monsters and then this is going to stop their link monsters which is really good so with that being said i want to show you guys the one card combo and how insane this one card combo is and then i'm going to show you guys what it can look like if you open one extra card on top of that one card combo right so let's get things started here i'm going to set this up real quick first off it's just a samsara so a single samsara is full combo and i'm going to show you that to you guys but i'm also going to pull out this just because i'm going to show you guys what you can do with this later on so let's put this aside for now all right, let's just put it here for now. Okay, so the combo is going to start off with just normal summon your Samsara and then link this away. So this is going to go to the graveyard and you're going to summon your Lightheart, okay? Lightheart is going to trigger the search your field spell. I wish I had zones here. It would be way much, way easier to show you guys with zones, but I hope, I hope you guys are understanding here. So this is your graveyard. This is my extra deck. This is my field spell zone. Let's just say that, okay? So you're going to activate this. It's going to activate its effect. You're going to be able to search a card. The card you're going to want to search here is going to be your Reichheart. And you're going to special summon your right card, activate its effect, which is going to search a spell or trap, arrival. And this is why I like playing two arrival, because if you open the arrival, you just search a trap here, which is just better. But uh, yeah, so now you have this in your hand, okay? You're going to link these two off. So this is the standard Fiendsmith stuff. So you're going to link those two off for your moon. 
And then Moon is going to get linked off for your Requiem. Activate the Requiem effect over here to summon your Lacrima. Lacrim effect on summon here is going to be able to dump your engraver and then what you guys can do is uh, you can activate the engraver shuffle back the moon and then summon this back or you shuffle back the requiem doesn't really matter um, and then what you're going to do is going to use these two cards over here for your sequence summon the sequence and then sequence effect you can shovel these three back so into the main deck and you guys can summon desiree and then what you guys can do now is just that it's like the most easy way to do it is you can go Scareclaw Arrival effect, summon back Visa Samsara over here. Now because Visa Samsara is back on your side of the field, you can summon back the Scareclaw because this acts as Visa, Visa Starfrost, so you can summon back this from your graveyard. And then from this point, you just use all three of these bodies over here to make... So you could make Silhouette Rabbit for two with two bodies if you guys wanted that. But what you can do actually is just go into this. Uh, your try heart uh, try hard on summon can summon back a level three body but that's not as important right now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sequence into this over here okay so that's kind of like what your end board is if you don't want to make this what you could do is you could just use two bodies so like this and the sequence let's say to make silhouette rabbit search the trap there's kind of different like end boards that you guys can do and then you kind of end up like on the board like this kind of thing but i want to show you guys why this and adding an extra body is really important right so let's say we were just rewind a little bit to the point where we have these guys on board, right? So let's say at this point, you've used your arrival, but you also have this in hand, right? So you use arrival, you summon back your Visa Samsara, right? Now you can use this effect, of course, like I said earlier, to summon back your Lightheart. And then Balloon is also going to be able to special summon itself because you control a Scareclaw monster. So you can summon it beside the Lightheart. Doesn't really matter, but you just summon it beside the Lightheart here. And then now you have extra bodies on your side of the field, right? So what you can do here is you can use your Sequence, your Vizas, and your Balloon. Use these three, okay, to summon your Triheart. Doesn't matter the zone that you summon it in. Let's say you summon it here. Then what you can do is because you have a level three monster, you can use the tryhard effect to summon this back. And then this is going to be able to search you another level three body or another uh, Scareclaw body. You could just search like an Acro or whatever. And then what's going to happen is Acro is going to be able to special summon itself. And then sequence obviously can add back. So here what you're kind of doing is like you're setting up the Desiree with two negates. You, all your opponent's monsters are going to go in defense position, which is really nice. And then on the follow-up, you have a ton of follow-up because you have infinite link fodder you also have these two that are going to set up vicious astroloud for you in the graveyard so you have vicious setup which is really nice and then you're going to be able to otk off that so i hope this combo kind of makes sense and like kind of shows you guys why this deck kind of synergizes really well because if you just have the one card combo you're ending on at least a silhouette rabbit plus a desiree that's just a one card combo but if you have any scareclaw name in your hand so whether it's the balloon or the acro or the astro if you have any one name you're ending on the try heart here as well and the try heart is really good because all of your opponent's monsters are now going to go in defense position, which means they can't really break your board. They can't attack over your board. And uh, you have the Desiree Negate. Of course, if you have hand traps in your hand, that's even better. If you open the arrival, then you can search the trap. Or if you open the trap, then you also have the trap here, which is really nice. That's also why I like to, in the combo, keep this guy on board. The reason I like to keep this guy on board is because uh, in the combo, if like, let's say you open a trap, or let's say you open the arrival and you search a trap, what ends up happening is you can use the trap to pop this and pop two. So it's just further disruption. So I like keeping this on board for the combo because when you keep that on board, it kind of just helps you, you know, set up with your traps and other cards as well, right? So guys, I'm telling you, this combo is really, really good. This deck is very, very, it's again, it's all one card combos, which is really nice. Two card combos if you don't open Samsara, but Samsara is just, you're playing three of because you want, really want to see that card, one of the best cards to see. And I think the decks just synergize really well. The fact that you can play Fenrir in this deck, the fact that you can play a bunch of hand traps in this deck, which is really good as well. So yeah, that's it for the combo. I hope uh, it kind of made sense to you guys. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. Thank you guys all. I wouldn't be here without you guys if I'm being honest with you guys. Thank you, cameraman, for helping me do all of this. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, oh, wait, wait, wait. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy. And like I said, the adventure build is coming out soon. So make sure to check out the adventure build when that comes out. To do that, stay subscribed. So thank you guys all for watching. With that, thank you. Peace.